For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea, and now for my next trick. Ah! Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self taught, you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. I would have skipped through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Ow! Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Wow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. And now, for all you traditionalists... <coughs> knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. <coughs> ah! Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. <coughs> so that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. <laughs> okay, Gobos, this magic paper bring food. I thought I heard something. Alizigi, Alizangi, Alizongi, Alizongi. Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur de Lis. 
P.S. Before you can use the spell book, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. Oh, look! There's a pair of scissors in here. No one will miss this old thing. So the prevailing wind is north, yes? Oh, excuse me. Yes, boy? I want to be a wizard. Oh, like, we bain't be wizards, bain't we? No, who are? We be humble farmers, like. I bain't be being no more magical like than a potato, who are? You sure you're not wizards? Quite sure, lad. We be country folk. Board and wholemeal bread, who are? Are you sighing? We be fakes, like? Yep. What makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguise is off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? I want to be a wizard. You? A wizard? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, ha-ha-ha-ha-ha? <laughs> My dear boy, you can't just jump into wizardry just like that. It requires years of study. Come back next century when you're older. Where did you say we... Listen to me for a second. Yes, boy? I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything. Well, you could do us a little favour. You see, all new wizards must perform a service to the circle before being, um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mmm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey, eh? Just name it, and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical star for him to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. No problem. We look forward to your return. I wonder where old Calypso could be. Did you say, psst? Who, me? Yes. What do you want? You interested in any mm, priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. They're handcrafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. 
I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? Sorry, I'm really not interested. Who needs your custom anyway? They look just like the ones my brother grows. appears to be the problem. It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. Let's have a look at it then. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Bro! There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here. Take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. You might. Did you just hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. Get off me! I couldn't breathe under there. My whole life flashed before my eyes. There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You could at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. 
I was talking to the player, not you. Oh, right. So, you got any spare wood or not? Are you trying to build yourself up again or something? Eh? Uh, we're woodworm. We need wood to live. This stump's just about had it. Sorry, I didn't realise you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? What sort of fool do you take me for? Sorry, I guess we got the wrong impression. How come you woodworm are talking anyway? That's just so typical. You just presume we don't talk just because we're woodworm. Let me tell you something, mate. Your attitude is bloody typical of humanity in general. It makes me sick. You never talk to us. You just presume that woodworm can't talk. It's just racism to the third degree. Racism? Against woodworm? And that's just part of the problem. You don't even see us as people. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but... We've got just as much right to draw breath as you have. I'm sorry, OK? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Or gopher wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? How about a bit of ebony? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? Oh, I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, blabberpun! Young hooligan, have some respect. Shut up, granddad. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with Teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood. It's been ages since we had any wood. Teak, balsa, oak, mahogany. Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany. Yeah! I still prefer teak. Shut up. Mahogany it is, then. I'll just go and get some, then. You won't regret this, you know. Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? Um, here we are. It's only me, the littlest Billy Goat Graf. I'm going to the meadow to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Graf comes along. He's much fatter than I am. Very well. Be off with... Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's that easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to the popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the fridge. Now, come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me past, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. 
So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action instead. I'm forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? No, no one may cross the bridge until I have satisfaction. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here to cross the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. No problem, sir. How would you like your goat? Do would be nice. It's been a long time since I had goat stew. All I want is some goat to eat. Is that too much to ask? I'll see what I can do, okay? Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? It's mine. You can't touch it. Give it here. Let's have a look at it. Huh. I did a lot. Now we'll worry. Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you and... Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty-ho. Oh, you've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow. What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya. What appears to be the problem? Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? What I don't know about magic ain't worth knowing. Why aren't my beans growing then? Eh? I planted them here, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there, then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I'll have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. This must be good compost.
What's the awful racket? Can you shut up, please? Sorry, old chap. Can't hear you. Can you shut up for a minute? I do beg your pardon. Thank you. How can I help you? You can't. I'm just passing through. Oh. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. Oh, curses. It's broken. This is your lucky day. I just happen to own a musical instrument repair parlor. I can have it done up for you in no time. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but us chickens. Are you some sort of sewage worker? Ha! Do you not know who I am? No, I don't. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. The famous who? Philistine. I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetable. And you reckon you're gonna find it down that hole? I am looking for fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? Uh, no. If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. a shopping list addressed to the storekeeper in town. Oh, look. There's a word written on it. It has the word beer chalked on it. I'll have to sell everything. Excuse me? Yeah? You look like you need cheering up. No one could cheer me up. My life is in ruins. Nonsense. It's never too late to be of good cheer. That's easy for you to say. What did I do to deserve this? What exactly is the problem? Trees. Trees? Trees. The big, hard, brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. How can a tree be a problem? It's not all trees, just the ones around here. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. I'll keep an eye out for some for you. Then you'll be looking for a long time it's incredibly rare, and I don't know anyone that's ever seen any. Have you tried the dwarves? If you want Mithril, dwarves is fine. But those stunty buggers don't know anything about Melrith. When I asked, 
All they did was give me this metal detector. Give me the metal detector, and I'll have a look round. Okay. You can't do any worse than me, I suppose. You're on. Why didn't... I'd better knock. Ah. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? It is so nice to have Persian come visit me. I is so pleased. Are you some sort of boggy person? Not a boggy persling. I is one and only swampling, the bestest cook in the land. People come for around miles to eat swamp stew. But it smells revolting. Let me out of here before I chuck up. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend! I thought you'd come to play with me for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. It's your birthday? It is. Nobody had arrived here yet. I is spending ages making swamp stew and I is saving my money for hats and cakes. I invited all my bestest friends. I can't wait for them to get here. I had no idea it was your birthday. My actual birthday was two weeks ago. I don't mind you being late, though. Everyone else is. I think your costume's really good. Uh, don't worry, though. I've come for your birthday. Sit! Sit! I bring special birthday stew. Hang on, I didn't agree to... Friend, I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe handed down from Swamplin to Swamplin for generations. Okay, I'll give it a whirl. I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. I think some more friends have arrived. <coughs> no one there. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friend. Please have mercy. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh no. you like it? Plenty more for friend. No more for me, thanks. I'm stuffed. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh, no. Not again. Oh no! 
I've run out of stew. I'm so sorry. I'll just go collect gradients to make more. Stay here. I'll be back soon. Thank God I won't have to eat any more of that stuff. I feel lucky. I'm going to do this very carefully. Wow, that sure is strong metal. My God! It's a real dragon! Well, what did you expect in a dragon's cave? This isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently am not fully in control of my breath. Huh? Hachu! Lucky I was wearing my asbestos underwear. My, that's an interesting rock. Excuse me? Yes? Don't hurt us. Don't let them hurt us, precious nice hobbies. I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry. It's just the annual meeting of the Tokyo Appreciation Society. Where's the rest of them, then? In that cave, enjoying themselves. It's my duty this year to get lunch. I haven't had a nibble for half an hour, though. Luckily, I happen to have some top-quality, highly nutritious swamp stew with me. Really? That's excellent. Will this go around 40 people? It's concentrated. Just add boiling water and stir. Thanks a lot. You can have the fishing rod in return. Ta! 
I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? The ring. I could have sworn I had it on me when I started fishing. I'd better take it off before I wear it out. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. Excuse me. The regular person. He's sick. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. Oldest thing in the entire game. It's dark in here. Lucky I'm only small. I wonder when we'll get there. I'd better put the ring on now. Well, either I can still see myself or the ring needs recharging. Hang on a moment. Oh, I had it on backwards. There are loads of empty cardboard boxes. My spell book's in this one. I finally got my spell book back. There's a loose piece of paper in it. Are you the druid from the village? Who are thou that hast voice but no presence? Uh, sorry, I left yours at home. Do not joke with me, Hellspawn. Yes, I'm the village druid, and you are in league with the hordes of darkness. I'm not, you know. Tis well known all servitors of evil are liars. Be gone! Look, let's be reasonable for a moment. I shall listen to no more lies from you. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. I'm sorry I spoke, okay? Goodbye.
my eyes deceiveth me, or tis a young boy in this den of filth. Actually, it's me. You know, the Prince of Darkness. Ha! Ah, thou shalt not fool me with thy disguise. What disguise? Your true form is that of a huge, winged, fire-breathing monster. Your soul is as black as midnight. How can I prove I'm not a demon? There is a simple test. What is this simple test? It is a well-known fact that the only true way to destroy a demon is to plunge a silver dagger through its heart. If the creature dies, then it's a demon. If it lives, then its heart is pure, and so we sacrifice it. I expect you find a lot of demons by this method. Never been wrong yet. Call me stupid. But I don't find that method completely fair. Who said anything about fair? Are you afraid, son of evil? To be perfectly honest, I am just a tad. Okay, let's use the less reliable but more convenient trial. See this silver cross around my neck? Face it against your forehead. Okay, let's do it. Very well. Goodbye, cruel world. Yow! So, you are a servant of evil. Did you enjoy the feel of the burning hot fire of good? What? That thing was freezing cold. Gave me quite a shock. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better take it all back then. Jeez. So, what's the escape plan then? Well... I don't know. Got any bright ideas? Well, uh, let me see. Are you any good with a sword? No. Can you cast powerful spells? Yeah, no. Looks like we're stuck then. Unless, of course, you can use some special druidic power to free us. It's not as easy as that. Flower... druidic magic comes from nature. All I can do without some nature handy is polymorph. Holly what? All druids are capable of turning into another animal. It happens when they see a full moon. Which animal can you change into? A frog. A frog? Something wrong with that, is there? No, no, no. But... a frog. I can't help it. It was chosen for me by the head of the order. Well, I'm sure that'll be of some use. Can I please put this bucket on your head? Why? Do you have some sort of plan? Yes. I've got a plan. Ribbit. I'd better hide until he gets back with help. I'll put the ring back on. I must have run the batteries out. You'd better get others. Oh dear. Maybe big baddie. Why not go in there? You go! Ow! Extreme acupuncture. I think my hay fever's cured them. I'm coming now, so watch it. Aha! I can't see no one. No! No one in here! In behind you! What? Ah! <laughs> not funny! You on cleaning duty for a week? Please not, Captain! Have mercy! I know like look of things! We go get more gobos! I third that, Captain! That was hot in there. I need a drink.
catch. I don't believe it. This is an extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. This could be it. Will I be as famous as you for this? Of course, of course. Just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. It's in the Craggy Peaks. I left my metal detector there. Excellent. I shall journey there immediately. Let me just get my things together. Oh dear. A pile of dirt excavated by Dr. Von Jones. There's also some Milrith ore here. Can you do anything with this? I can do anything you want with such fine metal. Good, because I need an axe head made for me. No problem, as long as I can keep what's left over. Sure. See you around. I knew it was too good to be true. I don't believe it. Lady Luck must be shining on me today. I'm off to try it out. Watch out, trees. Here I come. I love these things. I like mahogany. You got that mahogany yet, then? As a matter of fact, I have. Wigworm, attack! Uh. That was wonderful. Cozy in this hut, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Mind if we hang around here for a while? Damn sight better than a bloody stump. No problem. If you need us for anything, just shout, OK? Fine. I think I'll catch 40 winks. See ya. Weird. What the hell do you want? I've come to rescue you. Who put the lights out?
Hijo! What the hell do you want? You're not the wicked witch. I've come to rescue you, sweet lady. You're not the first. The witch caught the rest of them and turned them into meat pate. Meat pate? Yuck. That's only the lucky ones. You should see what happens to the rest. Just who is this wicked witch? The wicked witch of the West. She took me from my father when I was just a piglet. It was she that perverted my beauty and imprisoned me here. Am I destined to spin wool for the rest of eternity? Hang on. Did you say piglet? Maybe this will explain everything. My God! Everyone makes the same mistake. And when they see my face, they run screaming from the tower. The only way the spell can be broken is with a kiss from one from another dimension. This is where I come in, I feel. Fear not! Your savior is here! <coughs> what did I do to deserve this? Okay, boys. Time for you lot to do me a favor. No problem. How strange! It's full of bandages! Mm -hmm. ah! That was a close one! I feel like a real sucker for punishment! I've seen this done in cartoons. Welcome to Naismith, the Apothecary's Taverna, your number one for love potions, cure-alls, and tri- Oh, it's you. I'm on a real important quest. Can you help? I expect you were looking for some free potions, since you rescued me. That would be nice, yes. Okay, I do have an exceedingly good potion I'm prepared to give you. However, it's a collector's item, and you must only use it as a last resort. Okay, hand it over. There is another condition, though. Aha! The anticipated fine print. If you want his fine potion, then you'll have to get me something. I need a special herb to help control my froggy condition. It's called Frog's Bane. My sources inform me that it can only be found on a place called Skull Island. If you find it, then you can have the potion. 
do we have a d Ribbit. I suppose I'll have to get it now, or I'll never get hold of that potion. I took some beeswax from the hive. Good morrow, barkeep. Good morrow, lad. Mix me a wet wizard, barkeep. Hang on a moment. I'm sure I've got some sparrow juice down here somewhere. I've blocked the nozzle on the barrel with the wax. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Wait here, kid. I've got something for you. Hey, kid. Take one of these leaflets home to your dad. Happy hour at the Drunken Druid. Ale for one gold piece a mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. Good thing I've got a big hat. Sophisticated. Itchy, though. All right, mate. All right. What's the password, then? Is it beer? You may pass. Right on. Care for some beer, by any chance? I'm on duty, but I suppose one mag can't hurt. Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. This way. Bring it over here. Now, how about the drinking competition? Ha <laughs> 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 ha 
Guard? Guard? Time for a sharp exit. Where is that lazy slunk? He must have gone for a beer break. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to us we go. La 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 ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. That doesn't work. Hi ho, hi ho, it's up to us we go. La 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 ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. That doesn't work. Shut up! Cool. Oi! Get out of here! This is restricted area. I've come to make you an offer. Really? What sort of an offer? I've got something in my inventory that you want. What's that then? Well... What's this? Happy hour at the Drunken Druid and a free voucher? How can I ever repay you? Nice pile of gems you got there. Just one though. Here you are. Now clear off. And stay out. Hey, mate. You interested in a priceless gem? Give it. I'll have a look at it. Hmm, this is nice. Very nice. Dwarven, I'll wager. Mm, it's one of those gems that changes colour. I'll give you four pieces for it. Don't make me laugh. I want at least 40. 40 gold pieces? Huh. I won't go any higher than 10. It's an improvement, but still daylight robbery. Okay, 15 pieces, but only because I like the look of you. Let's call it a nice even 20 and be done with it. Okay, okay. 18 gold pieces it is. Pardon? Uh, 20 then. But you drive a hard bargain, no mistake. I bet go and put it somewhere safe. Bye. I wonder how he did that. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other... I would like to buy this. That'll be one gold piece. OK, here you are. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. I would like to buy this. That'll be two gold pieces. OK, here you are. It comes with a free nail. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse.
This is silly. Everyone knows gold isn't magnetic. That wasn't much of a hoard. What are you staring at, mate? You can talk? Give the kid a cigar. That's amazing. No, it's just magic. What sort of magic? The usual sort, you know? There's loads of it around here. That's why it's so cold. The magic has mutated and made it into perpetual winter. Speaking of which, I'm a powerful sorcerer. Well, you must know a lot about magic, then. Do you know any magic? Well, I've picked up the odd word or two as I went along. Can't quite remember what they do, though. Tell me them. Tell me them. It'll cost you, I'm afraid. I seem to spend forever running errands for people. Everyone's good at something. What do you want? See this pink splodge? Yeah? It's paint. Yeah? It means that bloody woodcutter will be coming along later to chop me down. Oh, that's terrible. If you can remove the paint, then I'll tell you some magic words. Okay, sounds fair to me. You can probably get some white spirit at the shop in the village. Righty-ho. Hurry up, though. I'm on it. Your problems are solved. I'm very grateful. So, how about those magic words? Okay. I don't know what they do, so be careful. What are they? Alakazam. Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra. And sausages. Sausages? Yep. Very powerful magic word is that. I really do think I've been taken for a ride here. At least I'm not going to be chopped down anymore. Does anyone have any pink spray paint?
Oi. You shall not pass. I'm a powerful user of mystic magic. You shall not pass. Okay, I can take a hint. You shall not pass. Wow, hot stuff. How typical, just when I thought I was getting somewhere. I forgot my rope to get out with. Curses! Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strange eyes gave it to us. Well, it appears we underestimated the lad brothers. So now you make me a wizard, right? There's just one or two formalities to clear up first. If you'll just answer these questions, <laughs> for the record. Name? Simon. Thank you. All you have to do is pay the subscription fee and you're a wizard. Subscription fee? Yes. A mere 30 gold pieces for junior members. Ha! A piffling 30 gold pieces. Where is it then? I've got two chows, two pot. There you are. 30 gold pieces in unmarked coins. Can I be a wizard now? Well, I suppose so. Um, by the power invested in me, I pronounce you a wizard. That's it? Uh, yes. No ceremonies? Uh, no. No adoring crowds, confetti, wild orgies, banners and ice cream? Not usually, no. Right then. You do get a young wizard starter pack, though. A starter pack? Yes, it's got all kinds of goodies in it. You get a complimentary staff. A WizKid Club member badge. A WizKid quill. WizKid scroll notepaper. The WizKid multi-ingredient starter kit. A membership card. Your first issue of WizKid magazine published quarterly. And many other wonderful freebies. Here you are, all held in this free WizKid wallet. Thanks, I think. Happy now? Just answer me a few questions. Who is sordid?
He was once a mighty sorcerer in the circle. He was booted out for repeated breaking of circle rules. What rules did he break? Most of them at one time or another. <sighs> I remember the outcry when he managed to break rule 137. What's rule 137? Best you don't know. We never found out where he got the chickens, you know. Do you think he's around these parts? He's known to be lurking in this area somewhere. I'm just glad we found the staff and can get out of here now. How mighty is mighty? Very mighty. Great. No further questions, my lud. Right, have we twittered the sparrows yet? I found it. Rip. Uh, thank you. I guess you want that potion now. Here you are, though I'm loath to part with it. That's okay. I was loath to part with the frog's bane. I see. I'd better knock. Nobody home. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ain't no one ever told you not to steal from a witch? I'm a wizard. I steal from who I want. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. You want to fight, do you? You want a wizard's duel. What are the stakes? My broomstick against your life. Are you sure those odds are fair? Chickening out, eh? Me? Chickening out? I think not. Let's go. Right. I'll make the rules. First, no vegetable or mineral, only animal. Second, no dragon. Third, no cheating. Any questions? What do I have to do exactly? Don't you know any magic words? Of course I do. You'll soon get the hang of it then. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Shazam! <laughs> That's one nil to you. Wow. Focus, focus. That's two nil to you. Wow. Sausages. That's two one to you. Shazam! <laughs> That's 3-1 to you! Wow! Well done! Does that mean I win? Sort of! Well, what do you know? I won! I guess I'll just take my prize and clear off then. Now who's won, huh? Uh, no dragons? Did I say no dragons? Now you come to mention it, I don't believe you did. Well, I will give you a chance to defend yourself. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. Abracadabra! A mouse? This must be my lucky day. Except that now I've got a terrible craving for cheese.
A bit too much throttle there. There's a little crack in the door down here. Hello, boy. How did you get in here? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I see. Hey, put me down, you mangy mutt. Ugh. What's that smell? Remind me to change your dog food when we get home. You've got a killer hairball here, boy. I'll get it for you. That was disgusting. There's a matchstick in here. I'll just pick it up. I think I'm in some sort of gigantic garden. I'll leave it here. It's too big to pick up. I've pulped them into oil. There's a little tadpole swimming in it. Out of the way or the tadpole gets it. I guess I showed him. Bye-bye, little friend. Some sort of earth tremor. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know about you, 
but I'm out of here. I hope that thing is gone. tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. What do you know, Max? An intruder. Intruder? Yeah. I bet, like, he's come to deal with sordid. Sordid? Yeah. Shall we, like, go and tell him? Tell him? Yeah. We couldn't just sit there while the boss gets, you know, done over. Done over? Yeah. Then again, we could just do our jobs and, you know, just eat the intruder, like, where he stands. Eat him? Yeah. Or we could just carry on with a game, just like ignore the intruder. Ignore. Yeah. Okay then. sordid spellbook. It looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demon's true names. Uh, hello. 
Um, does like two orc eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon? I uh, thought not. I lose again, Max. Again? Yeah. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. Well, you look like demons. <laughs> Not bad, but what we actually are is, you know, uh, angry, uh, annoyed, bothered, cross, displeased, exasperated, flustered, harassed, irritable, nettled, out of humour, peeved, peaked, put out, riled, ruffled, and vexed. Ain't we, Max? Irritated. Yeah. Why are you irritated? I hear you ask. Why are you irritated? It doesn't matter. I can tell you're not interested in, you know, our problems. Is he, Max? Not interested. <laughs> yeah. Guy in his smokes. I'm afraid not. It's all right. We've got loads, ain't we? Loads, yeah. Excuse me? Yeah? Why do you stay here if you're dissatisfied? We don't have any, like, choice. Sordid won't let us go. Why would he want you two around? Let's just say we have our uses. He plans to rule the universe, like... Rule, yeah. I'll blame the parents. How does he intend to do that? Those fascinating statues downstairs ain't just decoration, you know. Sordi turned all the people that tried to stand in his way into, like, stone. Now there's just a bunch of, like, elegant hat stands. Hat stands, yeah. He read about it in a book. I've read that book. All I need is a talking lion. Remember, kids, drugs really screw you up. If I were you, kiddo, you wouldn't see me for, like, dust. Dust. Yeah. Okay, I'm scared. Show me the door. Sorry, but, like, the only way out is through the teleporter in this room. Personally, I'm blowed if I'm gonna tell you how to use it. What have I ever done to you? We're demons. We don't work for the good of the people, you know. People, yeah. What do you want? All we want, like, is a return to the pit, whence we cameth, you know. Pit, yeah. All you have to do, like, is find the wizard powerful enough. Look no further. I, Simon the Sorcerer, will save you. Pardon my lack of confidence, oh mighty one, but like, you're hardly a wizard at all. I've killed for less than that. Oh dear, I'd better get my, like, headstone done. Headstone, yeah. And what makes you think I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, chemical-stained, befuddled old fools. Fools, yeah. Nah, it's out of fashion to be fat and old these days. I can't be bothered to, like, argue. If you are a wizard, then send us back to the pit, and in return, we'll tell you how to use a teleport. Teleport? Yeah. Right then, I'll just go and get prepared. I guess I'd better, like, pack my bags then. Bags, yeah. I can see my reflection in it. Pretty it ain't. What's the matter? Never seen a talking mirror before? <laughs> oh, get a grip, will you? No, I haven't seen a talking mirror before. I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I can see out of any reflective surface anywhere in the world. 
Just name the place and you can hear and see it as if you were there. Show me the laboratory on the top floor, please. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. I want to spy on Gerald and Max. I can't imagine they'd be worth spying on, but okay, here goes. Why are you like so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grabbit? Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grabbit? It's not much better than Snog Fundle, really. Suppose not. Belch Grabbit and Snog Fundle. I've seen enough. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mirror. Hello again. Got it sorted then. I'll just draw a quick magic square on the floor. Yeah, you can borrow my chalk. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work? Yeah. Hey, kiddo. Now I'll tell you how to operate the light. Teleport. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip, though. You can't, like, get back without the password. Password? Yeah. And we don't, like, know it. Take it away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. Zabag, Zinza, Zenog, Yarmak, Zog. Onya. Looks like we're stuck. Wow, that really tingled. I hope it worked okay. That doesn't work. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. It would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to the destination of your choice. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. <laughs> I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Visit the fiery pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village, and the only way to get here is on foot or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years, and one was a wizard. Sordid. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fellow. Now, are you going to pay up or not? No. Then you aren't coming in. Fine. When the world ends on your head, be it. Oh look, there's an elastic band around them.
Fire! I'm out of here. When I catch the person that set off the sprinkler system, I'll roast them alive. Now, I've got to find a way to relight this damn thing. Just when I was about to finish my new wand as well. Quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Hey, slime bucket. Pasta the pizza, baby. No! That'll teach you to mess with Simon the Sorcerer. The only problem now is how to destroy the wand and save Calypso. Sordid and all his magic couldn't get this thing working. And you expect me to be able to do it with a book of matches? Here goes. Now all the statues should return to normal. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not only have I rid the world of Sordid, but I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. I've just had a thought. Uh-oh. Well, 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 little wizard. You've made me really angry now. I didn't mean to. I'm not interested in your pathetic whinging, little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly and with great suffering. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. Hello, Sordid speaking. Who? Oh. Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. Hello? Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job with the one who we've all turned back to normal. I'm coming to rescue you. Try and stall him for a bit, okay? Uh, okay. See you in a bit. Bye! What did I want? I was just taking you out of my will. Okay, then. Get ready for pain such as you've never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? Uh, have you heard the one about the Vicar and the Mongoose? No. Have you heard the one about the butter? No. I'd better not tell you. You might spread it. Oh, ha 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 I haven't got time for jests at the moment, though. I've got far more important things to be doing. It's time for you to die. Ah, that'll teach that little squirt to mess with me. Well, what do you know? Hundreds of razor-sharp spikes, and I miss everyone. I wonder what happened to the bridge.
Nice try, loser. You'll have to do better than that to beat me. This time, I'll make sure you die. What's happening? Who turned out the lights? Congratulations! Well done! You finished Simon the Sorcerer! Well, Simon, what does it feel like to be a hero? What's this guy on? Would you like to say something to your fans? Don't miss next year's sequel! Don't hold your breath. I'm not going through all that again. Phew, what an awful dream. I guess I must have dropped off. <laughs> Looks like I've no say about the sequel. <laughs>